we got a couple more days before the big heat returns. You can see across the board here, we're going to be pretty close to where we should be this time of year with near average temperatures for the Bay Area. Highs in the 60s, 90s for the Valley and Hills and 80s for the Sierra. Right now in the Gilmore backyard, we've got sunny skies. We're at 91 for Sacramento, Stockton and Modesto. 97 for Marysville. Just a little less access to that cooling breeze coming in from the Pacific. 84 with a few clouds for Tahoe, but no thunderstorms right now. And we'll get a couple more days thunderstorm free for the Tahoe Basin. As far as our tropical systems taking a look at the Atlantic right now and the Caribbean. You can see Tropical Storm Elsa making its way out of Cuba right now into the Gulf of Mexico. Now this is going to track inland into parts of Florida. So as you can see headed into the next 24 hours staying just off the coast and then by Tuesday evening through Wednesday travels through the panhandle parts of northern Florida all the way through Georgia, South Carolina and then right along the mid Atlantic seaboard. So this is going to be a tropical system we follow for the next couple of days into the work week. Back to our local conditions where we're going to be tracking big heat above average conditions throughout the entire state. And we're talking at this point in the year above average means deep into the 100s and it's going to be quite a stretch as well. Last night, really poor air quality around all the fireworks popping off during the late afternoon and evening hours and then uh, started to clear out. So we're still looking at good to moderate air quality straight down the board here into our Tuesday forecast. Once we get deeper into our Wednesday, Thursday and certainly into the weekend outlook, that's when we really get concerned about the air quality under this ridge of pr high pressure. We're benefiting from this low to the north of us, keeping us out of the 100s at least through Wednesday, but by Thursday that low is out of here and it's nothing but this high pressure ridge that is going to dominate our weather forecast. So basically we're looking at sinking warming air and that big heat returning. Numbers for tomorrow, though, still looking OK. Mid 80s to near 90 for South Lake Tahoe and Truckee after starting off with morning lows in the 40s. It's such a contrast this time of year. Highs will be right around 90 to 95 degrees for Forest Hill, Auburn, Jackson, Angels Camp at 91. Twain Hart, we're at 89. Quincy a little warmer there at 95. Nevada City at 91. Our five day forecast, we've got dry conditions through Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Those are the days that we not only start to look at the opportunity for thunderstorms and higher fire concern, but also the heat that's going to be building highs in the 60s along the coast quite a bit of cloud cover there but once we start to head inland it's nice to get that breeze coming in highs in the 80s closer to the delta once we get farther from that we're still in the mid 90s to upper 90s but again those of us that are a little closer to that delta breeze will uh, see highs in the 80s to right around 90 once we get on to the west or east side of the valley we'll be closer to about the mid 90s to near 100 and then widespread 100s are back thursday friday through the weekend highs between 105 and 110 and that's how we'll start off early next week as well. So a good opportunity to save some water, save 150 gallons of water a day by upgrading to a weather based smart sprinkler. Some are even controlled from your phone.